<clears throat> Welcome back, everybody. This is 13.7. We're doing tangent planes, uh, the normal vectors. <clears throat> In the last section, we showed how to find the uh, tangent planes, did some examples. Uh, in this section, we're going to look at doing it another way with local linear approximation. We we did this uh, a little while ago, I think earlier. In, was it 13.2 or 13.3? Maybe it was chapter 12. It's been a little while. Uh, so we've got f of x, y. It's differentiable at x naught, y naught. And then the tangent plane to the surface z at f of x, y, or z equals f of x, y at that point. So we're looking at the point x naught, y naught, z, which is x naught, y naught, the function of f of x naught, y naught, since z is that function. Now uh, we can show that z, or it can, it can be shown, we're not going to show it, but z is the function evaluated at that point plus the partial derivative evaluated at that point times x minus x naught plus the, with respect to x, plus the partial derivative with respect to y evaluated at that point times y minus y naught. Uh, this was local linear approximation previously. We saw this before. We saw local linear approximation before. I think it was 13 because it was multivariable functions. Uh, so how can we use this here? I kind of got a nice little picture. Uh, just showing it, we've got the point p naught. It's making this box. Our surface is here. Uh, we are approximating uh, delta x with dz. And the same thing we did with the local linear approximation before. You can show that the difference between delta x and or delta z, that should be z. The difference between delta z and dz is small compared to uh, delta z. And so that. Same process. We're, we're going to blah, blah, blah that proof. Uh, you can look at stuff before. Let's just take a look at using it. Uh, let's use the video, the problem we used in the last video. We had z equals f of x, y. Uh, z was x, y cubed, so that f was z minus x, y cubed at 1, 2, 8. Uh, and we showed that the plane was negative 8x minus 12y plus z equals negative 24 by doing uh, the gradient of f dotted with r at t naught, r prime at t naught. Let's do this using local linear approximation. So we need, that's our function, remember, for local linear pro approximation, we need the value of the function at f or at x naught, y naught. We need the partials with respect to x and y at the evaluated at the same point. And then x minus x naught, y minus y naught is pretty easy. We've got x naught, y naught right here. That part is really easy. So is all the rest of it. f of x, y is x, y cubed. So if we evaluate at 1, 2, we get the value of the function is 8 there. Uh, and when we take the partial derivatives, we have y cubed and 3xy squared. Evaluated at 1, 2, we get 8 again, which is coincidence, and 12. And when we plug these all into this formula right here with x minus 1 and y minus 2, we get that. Cleans up to that. And when we move x and y to the other side, we get negative 8x minus 12y plus z equals negative 24. The same thing we got with the gradient of f dotted with that. So I don't know if you think it's cool or not, but it, it, there's there's more than one way to do this kind of problem. That's it for, nope, that's not it for 13.7. I got one more video we're going to do. Uh, peace. <laughs>